The Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning by Summit Info Labs is one of the best online free courses for aspiring data scientists. This course covers machine learning, deep learning, neural networks, computer vision, to name some of the highlights. It also covers coding tutorials with the most popular languages and frameworks like Python, Scikit, TensorFlow, and Keras, not to mention statistics and advanced concepts like association rule learning, reinforcement learning, and NLP. You will get familiarized with hands-on sessions on ANN, CNN, RNN, LSTM, GRU, GAN, and other neural networks. Wishing you all the best and let's learn data science together. In this session, you will be introduced to data science as a concept and learn definitions that will be useful for future sessions. We will start by defining what is data science and then figure out who should learn data science if you have the necessary background. We then look at terminologies with a question on whether to use Python or R or some other language. With data science getting so popular, it is important to know the various industrial applications and also some use cases in our daily life. And finally, we conclude chapter one by looking at a roadmap ahead of you. Data science is a combination of computer science, statistics, and respective domain knowledge. Does this mean you should be an expert in all the three areas to become a good data scientist? Let's say you are a computer engineer with knowledge of OOPS concepts and programming in some languages. On top of it, you also picked up an acceptable level of domain knowledge. But when it comes to statistics, you can barely recall what you learned in school. The question is, can you become a data scientist? What if you are a strong statistician with knowledge of distributions, algorithms, Fourier transforms, hypothesis testing, but you can barely manage writing code? Or you may be a subject matter expert in a domain like manufacturing or finance with a basic knowledge of statistics and scripting. For all these three situations, the answer is yes, you can train yourself to become a good data scientist. If you are weak in statistics, a simple refresher course should help. If you are not strong in programming, no problem. Python is not rocket science. And domain knowledge can be improved by watching relevant videos, reading some articles, and interactive discussions with your business analysts and subject matter experts. So your next steps should be to start bridging the gap. These days, you hear the words AI, ML, deep learning in every other conversation. Let's look at how they are related to each other. AI or artificial intelligence is the big superset under which machine learning, deep learning, intelligent robotics and sensors all come into place. Pilotless aircrafts, driverless cars, and any form of intelligence in non-living beings can be treated as AI. Machine learning is a subset of AI where we write software programs combined with statistical algorithms to predict information or come up with intelligent analytics. When the machine learning problems get more complex, it requires us to develop models that can think like a human brain than numerical extrapolations. Deep learning is a further subset of machine learning which employs neural network architecture to analyze complex data like computer vision, face recognition, audio analysis, generating music, and more. Which language should I use for programming AIML? This is the most common question asked by many data science aspirants or even data scientists who are already using one of these. The biggest fight is between Python and the R language. People 
From a computer science background, prefer Python due to familiarity of object-based programming. However, some people from statistics background enjoy using R for the amount of statistical packages available and the functionality. If you are a job seeker and if you visit any job related sites, Python is a clear winner in the number of jobs. And in terms of popularity, Python still leads the charts. Then there are other choices like MATLAB, Julia, C Sharp and even JavaScript. But if it is not for a career change and you are already strong in some programming language, you can implement almost everything you need for data science. You can find endless number of use cases among several industries when it comes to AI ML. Manufacturing companies, hotels, airlines, logistics, automotive sector, insurance, sales and marketing, healthcare, not to forget finance, biotech, and the list goes on. How long will the flight be delayed based on past data and current weather conditions? When are the hotels going to be cheaper and expensive for planning vacations? What are the chances for a person getting a kidney or a heart problem in the next six months so that they can take precautions? Can a program detect manufacturing defects based on videos and images in a live manufacturing environment? Can the intelligent program warn me of any fraudulent activities in my bank account? Can it predict and prevent crime from happening? There are movies and series about crime prediction which may no more be a science fiction. You guys might have watched Minority Report, Person of Interest. Apart from the industries, we see data science in the services we use on a daily basis. Friend suggestions on social sites like Instagram and Facebook. Customized offers and deals by fast food joints to our liking. Intelligent route optimization when you take your Ola and Uber taxis. And what about personalized shopping experiences on Flipkart, Amazon with recommendations? And our daily entertainment of Netflix and Spotify is getting more and more intelligent by the day. For beginners, it could get confusing on what to learn and how to go about the entire AI ML journey. Should we first learn Python or statistics? There are so many models and algorithms. Which one should we learn first? How deep should we go? When do we start neural networks? Should we start learning financial domain or hospitality industry? When I try to learn anything, I come up with a simple approach of creating a mind map. A mind map helps me get a 10,000 feet view of the overall learning path and lets me prioritize on the areas that I'm strong and weak at. It also helps me decide how deep I should go and when to come back as the mind map always has a reference point back from the branches to the parent. If you take a look at this mind map, you can see that there is some amount of statistics to be learned. You may already know mean, median, standard deviations, but may have to learn central limit theorem. So you peg it for this week. Machine learning has so many branches, but also the regression, classification, and clustering seems like some key areas. There are many neural networks, but CNN, RNN could be my first explorations to get strong at deep learning. My advice to everyone out there, come with your own mind map, or you can use the one I have created as a reference point.